All right, here we are back in Rote. At the end of the last video, the Western Empire had broken off their siege, and I was offering some possibilities of why they did it. I said it was because of food, possibly, or morale, but I watched the video back, and it turns out, while I was running around here trying to find the position I wanted to be at, that my siege equipment had destroyed their towers. Both of the enemy towers were down, so that when we finally destroyed the ram, that was it. They had no siege equipment to breach the walls with. They would have had to have run up and just used towers, and I suppose they didn't want to do that. But that was the actual reason. It, it was. It did baffle me. That's why I went back and watched the video. Again, uh, our siege towers had destroyed both of their... I mean, our siege equipment had destroyed both of their siege towers, and, of course, we destroyed the ram. So let's see what they do now. They could reinitialize the siege, and they still have both forces here. It was not a, and it looks like they have more coming up here. This is another army, I believe, that I just now noticed. But at any rate, we'll see what happens. I want to see if I can recruit. Yes. So we're going to recruit everything here and throw it in the garrison. We have 358. This takes us up to 385. Every little bit helps. I'll make sure I have no. All right. And. I still have the same equipment. Yes, I just wish we had a better banner to use. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hit now. I don't know what the deal is with these guys. They're never gonna. There's no siege now, so theoretically, they should come in and join. Uh, but we'll see when I hit play. Here we go. Well, I gotta back out of this screen. Wait here for some time. Okay, there's the siege again, but both these guys made it in. So, that's another 100 so troops. 106. And I'm going to have to reconstitute the siege equipment. And I wasn't paying attention. The, was that other army over here? Did they come in? I can't see. It looks like, it looks like this is that army right here. They're 588 troops. And that is the same as this one. So I'm not sure if this is two. Obviously, this guy is 686. This army is 588. But this army is also 588. So I don't know if this is some kind of graphical glitch and this is actually the same army. But if not, there's three armies here of about 1,700. Again, we're defending with 800, uh, you know, my party and, and the 400 or so that are in the castle because... We're still out of food. We'll just have to see how this plays out. So I'm going to join the defensive rote. They joined also. So now it's 1,200. I guess that was just some sort of a graphical glitch. Now the good news is, if you could call it that, uh, well is the Sturgeon armies are moving back here to the west because we have obviously I'm going to attack look I've only got one ram I mean one uh, two catapults operating this is I don't think we're going to be able to destroy the siege equipment this time because like they initiated their siege and I've only got two catapults up but this time I'm trying not to bumble around where I want to go I want to go right here to this this siege equipment so just go up this and to the top. Let's see how this works. <clears throat> also, there's a fan. I had to turn on the fan. It got a little warm in here after being 28 degrees last night. So hopefully that's not coming across too badly in the microphone. Now, these, these guys are just going to go. I doubt either one of them. I'm going to put them in infantry. I don't think they're bow users. All right, I want to go up this tower, but there is no siege equipment there. So what we're going to do, all right, we'll leave that one there because I established earlier that that can possibly shoot back towards the walls and get the tower. Although, I'm looking at this now, and there are no siege towers. It's only the ram. You can see right, right there is the ram. There are no siege towers with them. So this is strictly us trying to destroy the ram and then holding the walls from the the ladders, which are probably 
maybe there's ladders right here. I don't actually know where the ladders will come up on this. All right, well, here we go. We're going to try to destroy their ram. And I'm going to move. Mm. That cannot turn too far to the left. I'm still thinking about that. I, I'm thinking I'm going to move this and put it right here. Because that's a straight shot. And that's just what I'm going to do. All right, so now I'm just going to immediately get off the horse and run up this tower. I'm not going to fill around like I did last time. We have half the firepower now that we had in the last uh, siege. And I don't know that we're going to... But then again, we've only got the ram to destroy. We don't have the two towers. So let's see what happens. Not, not far enough. But I'll take that engineering skill for sure. It's now 100. Excellent. Remember, 150 is a magic number. Or, yeah, 150. That's where, when you get... Let me look. How far can I take this? That's when you get the fire versions of the siege equipment. Ooh. Almost. A little to the right. And a little less range now since it's moving. So let's take the range down about right there. Let her fly. Ooh. I, I don't know if we hit it or the other one hit it, but either way it was hit. We're going to take the range down again. About that much. Ooh. I don't think it hit it that time. All right, let's try it again. Decrease the range a bit because it's moving towards us. Again, I don't think I actually hit the ram. I hit a lot of troops behind it, but I don't think I hit the ram. All right, we're going to decrease the range down this far. A full down. All right, well, that was the right range. I just don't know that we actually hit it because the top is already... One more try, I think, before they're too close. Oh, that was a good hit. But I can't, I didn't notice that we did any damage to the ram on the on the pop-up. Alright, I think this is gonna be the last one. Last opportunity to hit it with this catapult. Oh, it's still coming. There's no doubt if we had the fire versions, this would be dead already. Alright, here we go. We're either gonna hit the ram or the troops around it. We're gonna hit something. We hit the troops. I think they are legitimately now too close to hit. I'm going to fire one more just in case we can knock out some of the troops there. Because this is the... Nope, too far. All right, it's time to run over to the other siege engine. Let me get rid of that so I run faster. And hopefully it'll rotate far enough to the right to be able to hit that ram before they break through the gate. I'm pinning everything on that. Because remember, they, this is a large force against us. take this guy. Move to the right, buddy. Where is the ram? Oh, it was destroyed. Okay, well, let's see if we can hit that group over there going up the ladder. I don't know what the range is like here. We're going to find out. That's too far. I hit my own troops. Oh, <laughs> that was lucky that I didn't hit my own troops. That was pure luck. Let's move it down a full notch. And try that again. Oh, even that's too far. I hit my own troops. Well, live and learn. I'm going to move it down another full notch. Is that going to do it? There we go. Look, I got a Lord Euchre. That's a possible perk bearing troop out of, the, out of it. Let's try again. There we go. Another, another good hit. Just keep doing this. Look, we even knocked them off the ladder. I, I got another Lord, Thala, I think I said. Another perk bearing troop out of the pitcher. I wish we could turn all the way around. 
See, if I had fire versions, I could throw those fire pots just by hand down there. I'm gonna move to the right a little bit and decrease the range a tad. See what happens. Very good, very good. Now Fanny's, we've got another Lord. That's three Lords down. Always a good thing when you get to the Lords. See, they got mercenaries there with them. Ah, a fourth Lord, Ah Vagus. I like it. Here come the reinforcements. How far would this go? Oh, wait. Oh, I thought for a moment that we were going to be able to do it. All right, I'm, I'm waiting for their reinforcements to get to the base of those ladders that have been far wasted. I only got two more shots. All right, let's let it fly, see what happens. Woo! Excellent. Oh, that's a lot of troops still coming in. Remember, they we've already look at the power bar at the top. We've already took out about 50% of their forces. So that will be the low-level troops and the reserves coming in now. I'm going to wait till they get over there. I've just got this shot and one more. Oh, they finally found the range with arrows. Get in there, guys. Clump up very nicely before I fire. Oh, they took one of my guys out. All right, here we go. They took both my guys out. Oh, that was very un anticlimactic. I thought I was going to get more. But I notice on this side here, there's very few troops climbing the ladders now. I'm going to have to do this myself because I don't have any more forces. Anymore. So I'll load that, get back on it, move to the left a little bit and fire. And that's it. Okay, we got no more ammo. Can I pick up this rock? Nope. All right, time to leave this post. See what's going on over here. It looks, I believe we have the left here. Fine. They, I don't think I can get through here though. Let me run up the top and look. I might have to go down to the ground. But I do believe this side is covered. There's very few people trying to get up. Yeah. And there's no way I'd be able to get through those forces block. Oh, they're they're running. Let me pull out a javelin. Can I toss a javelin in that group? Oh, I threw that too far, surprisingly. Not far enough. I'm trying to get a little speed bumps to it. Well, you know, it's a long shot. Got to be careful doing this because I have ran myself right off the top of the castle before doing this. Or right off the walls. Oh, okay. Well, that was surprising that they did not come with siege towers again. Only the ram. And I'm gonna, I believe it's possibly due to the amount of influence he had burned to build those. They only lost 191 dead, 319 wounded. We only lost 28 overall, but we got five upgrades. The army itself got 29, which is not so surprising because there was a lot uh Looking at those, this guy here, he had a lot of low-level troops, like the first level of Varieg, the Otruk. Okay, well, 80% of the loot and 42 renown, and more importantly, 46 morale. That should take us up to 100 morale. For, did I say 14,000 gold? Does that say here? No, it doesn't say. And this is, I'm going to, you know, since the entire army is now coming back from the east, and these are the only guys we're at war with, I'm still going to let them go. Uh, if we were still all alone and there was no other forces coming back, then I would keep them as prisoners, but I'm going to let them all go with the exception of anyone that's in Komnos, which is the ruling party, and the ruling party is never going to join you. So there's no point in letting them go. These guys, at least, you do get a uh, relation increase. And so later in the game, it'll help if you decide you want to recruit them. I typically, I don't run after, if I'm voted leader, I won't run after them to recruit them. But if I fight them and they're not in the army, I may ask them uh, before we begin battle. But I typically don't like to run around all over looking for them.
because you got to find the right one, the leader of the clan, not just anybody in the clan. And then, of course, I will always keep these uh, mercenaries. There was a lot more troops here than I thought. A lot more lords and mercenaries. All of these, these last five or so, are all mercenaries. I don't think we have met. Oh, what is this? Just saved my life. I was not aware the Western Empire was at war with the Azerite. Now, Banu Hulayn, I believe that is the ruling party of the Azerite. Let's see. Unquid is Banu Hulayn. That is correct. And so I'm going to get some faction with him. It went up 29 points by releasing him. I have to admit, I did not know the Western Empire and the Azerite were at war. Your help was most welcome, oh, more than one of them. Can I learn? I don't think we have met. Before. Wow, there's quite a few. Just saved my life. I guess that explains why that other party was took a while for them to get here. And this guy was fighting for us. Your help was most welcome. So he gets released. Ah, that was a heck of a lot. Was that about 12 lords all total? Alright, we're definitely going to take every one of these troops, even if I have to dispose of some. And I'm going to take all these prisoners. Yes, I'm aware I'm over limit, but I'm going to stack the garrison. We're going to burn through some of the 16. I also still want to go and get another party running. Let's see what we got here for medicine. Don't care about the governor. 20% party healing rate while waiting in villages. I'm very, very, very seldom just waiting in a village. All right, waiting in towns is fine. That's the better of the two options, in my opinion. Because after a battle, you always go to a town to sell or ransom anyway. You're not going to go to a village. At least I don't. All right. We have Dreadful Besieger. Five crossbow damage. Nope. I don't have any crossbows. I don't. It typically, I very, very, very seldom try to damage the walls. Because ultimately, once we take that town, it's going to be part of the Sturgeon Empire. And then whatever Lord gets that we'll have to build those walls back up again. So I, it, the only time I ever break walls is if it's punitive. For example, if I, I've got my hands full here with the empire, the western, the southern, and northern, and I'm tired of the Kuzates raiding us, if possible, I will go over to Kuzate land, and I will just break down all their walls. Just as long as I can continue doing it, I'll, I'll take them to the ground. And then I will devastate them. I forget what it's called, as opposed to, you know, showing mercy, whatever that is, so that we kill their economy. And then I'll leave because I know we're not going to keep them. I don't care about that. I'm just trying to relieve some of the pressure on our kingdom. But that's very, very seldom. That's the only time I'll do that. So in this case, the governor doesn't apply. So 10% Mangadol and Trebuchet actually during siege bombardment and 20% actually to ballistas. So I'm definitely going to go for this. Uh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. 10% accuracy to your siege engines during siege bombardments and governed settlements. I'm never going to govern. I'm never going to have crossbows in this group. But I will take this. 10% damage dealt to shields by troops in your formation. So that if and when you get up on the wall and they're holding up shields, you'll do more damage. Even though I don't want to damage the walls, that's not my goal. I try not to do that. Now, I said I was going to take this. no matter. So we'll take that. 10% uh, siege equipment damage or accuracy during siege farm bombardment. All right. Did she get anything? Nope. All right. Now it's time. We want to return to Rote. Look and see if there's anything to recruit. Nope. That is not Sturgeon. How about some upgrades here? So we've got... Let me change this back. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it alone because I've got too many troops in here that are foreign. So we'll leave that alone now. We'll go to the keep. Manage garrison. We're definitely going to sort... My low level and then any any low level troops I have, I want to throw in there, particularly the militia and anything that says trader, T R A D E R. I'm I never use mercenary. Well, I don't want to use mercenaries. I guess in an emergency, I would use them as I mentioned earlier. We'll put these tribesmen. Let's see what. Okay, look for any archer archery units because we're we're short on archery. Let's put these thirty three archers in there. I'd rather not use the sisterhood followers because I just don't like them at all. Let's see if there's any 
powerful crossbows I can throw in there despite them being high level. Valandian crossbows I, I really enjoy because they're on the fence, they're really good. But instead, since I don't have any powerful crossbows, I'm just going to throw in these Azurite archers. Can I get them all in there? Yeah. All right, with 11 more, I may have to throw in those Sword Sisters. Here's seven. These are mad. You know, I'm going to throw them in there because it's all about keeping this fief. I could also just do this. Then sort these guys and take out the high level troops I don't want in there. Let me sort this the way I want it. All right. So I've got 23, 28 archers, and 24 horse. So I do want, I'll take both of those horse. I'll take all three of those archers. Nope, I won't because that's too many. Well, we're going to put the low-level ones back in. Okay. That gives me 28 archers. Because we're up to 192. 672. Now, what I'll do is take out anything that I wouldn't use under any circumstances. Like, I don't like horse cavalry at all, so I'm going to take those out. Because these forces that I leave here, I can come back and use from if I need to. You know, to replenish my forces. And I will never take the horse archers. Let's get rid of them. That's all of them. Now, the next thing I don't want in here, I do not want any mercenaries or any anybody I have to pay additional money for. Like this mercenary here. This cell sword. That may be all of them. Excellent. Okay, now we take out the top tier troops because of the cost of them. I don't need this many horse. We'll take out these horse. I will leave this guy because I can use him. And I'm going to leave all the archers. So it's going to be like this guy. I don't want to use him. We just need to get down to 467. But I, I don't want to take out any more archers. So it's going to be all troops I would have liked to have kept them because they're good we just got a lot of troops we need to get rid of here and we need to decrease the amount of money that I'm spending alright so we've got the Ferris I'm going to get rid of the Brigands the Azurai tribal horsemen because I don't anything they upgrade anything that says Mamluk I'm going to throw out I don't like that unit at all We're down to 31 horse. Is there any other garbage horse down here that, as far as I'm concerned, are garbage? All right. I think when these guys, I wonder, I think they can throw their Jareed when they're Jareed when they're on foot. I'm going to I'm gonna leave them in there, but I will take out these low-level ones. I don't know if they can, They yeah, they have a Jareed already. All right, once they become Ferris, is when they get the throwing weapon. They've got the jagged javelin before that. The Jareed is the best in the game. I'm going to get rid of these guys. And I'm obviously not going to get rid of anything that says Sturgeon that I would use in my army. I'm going to keep the Azurai because they have throwing weapons also. So I'll get rid of the Empire forces. Still got a lot to get rid of though. We'll get rid of these, this. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to get rid of some lower level troops, I think. No, we'll just get rid of the high level troops and be done with it. I'm not going to take them into an army as far as infantry is concerned. Unless they say Sturgeon on them. So let's just get rid of the, all the high level troops that I would not use. <clears throat> Azurai. I'd rather really get rid of the infantry, infantry men from the Empire in this case. Because again, the Azurite tribesmen will upgrade into 
veterans or archers, and that's that's a win in either way. I always use more archers. We'll get rid of these horses. Well, we still got about 40 or so to get rid of. I just don't want to get... Let's get rid of the... I don't want to do that, though. All right, we're going to get rid of the horse. And there's low level... You know, I, I can get rid of some of these recruits because eventually we will... We can always replace what we leave here with recruits. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of some of the recruits, the Imperial recruits. Even though it's going to cost more money, there's method to my madness because I can always replace more recruits. So for now, we're going to leave that as is <clears throat> and now just dismiss all the forces I don't want, which is everything. 124 troops going the waste. Now, I could... No, I can't. All right, we're just going to dismiss them. I'm also going to get rid of the army, even though they're not currently with me. They are in... For some reason, the AI has a weird way of working any companions you have with you in your army like that. They're in the town. They're just not shown as in my... I think it's a, a defense mechanism for once we go into defense mode. It breaks it apart like that for some reason. All right. Let's see what, if anything, which I upgrade is what I meant to click on here. All right, archers, soldiers. We've got 62 and 65, so I'm going to upgrade to heavy spearmen. I typically always want more heavy spearmen anything to help kill horses I'm gonna hold on to these guys I don't want to put them in the dungeon let's look at the dungeon because there's a good chance that those mercenaries that are in my party also put some prisoners in here let's sort this I want to take all the high tier prisoners out Everything above T2, unless it's a traitor like this right here, I'll leave those 10. All right, that, since we're full, I don't really need, I just need the, bare, the very minimum in here. We can get money off all these, but our garrison is full right now, so I don't need to leave anything in here hoping it'll be recruited into the garrison except the militia and the traitors. I'll leave those there, and let's see if we have any here to place in there. In the, I just saw a trader. I'm gonna put the peasant in there also because I don't have a part to upgrade peasants, so it's never gonna upgrade. There's more militia. Militia are so cheap, and they do a good job when it comes to defense. There's that trader I saw. Okay, everyone else I can sell. This, this siege turned out to be very profitable. All right, that's fifty, basically 54,000 dinars from that one siege. Oh, no, it's not going to be that much because I, I don't want to siege these guys. Let me do this again. All right, so 47.5 thousand dinars on that one siege. Very good. Definitely take it. Let's see what we got in, in trade equi in equipment. We're overburdened right now. Morale, I don't care about. We've got, we want to kill the, oh, I shouldn't have sold that. Let's try that again. Got to kill my animals first. Holding on to that flax, holding on to the hardwood, of course, wool. Linen is the only thing we can sell there sell these harnesses we're not we don't have too many horses there is no hobbies here now this might there was a heck of a lot of lords in this battle so I should get I would think that I might get something worthwhile but perhaps not 
Well, there's some lordly equipment, but it's just not as good as what I'm wearing already. But since we're on the verge of hiring a companion, I'm going to keep that lordly. I'm going to click keep for that lordly equipment. This legendary is not very good. All right, now I want to sort by name and look at legendary, lordly, and masterwork. So I want to click that stuff if I think it's worth keeping. Legendary. Where's the lordly? There we go. Now 47 is not... I'm going to keep that because it may be better than what a Wanderer will be wearing. And I'm going to keep these lordly laminar plate boots because it will probably be better than what the uh, Wanderer is wearing. I don't know about this. It could be better, so I will keep it. And I'm going to keep these two. That's the only thing I'm going to keep out of this. There's no masterwork. All right. Just to be certain, I want to check <clears throat> Corinne. I wasn't sure what helmet she was wearing. And we will check here, because again, we got beat up by the thugs in Real, or T -T -Al, or sh Revel. I do want to go, oh, look at there, we'll take that. It's the same weight, but it has two more armor protection. Definitely take that. That way, while they're beating in my head, it'll, it'll take them just a little bit more time to knock me unconscious. I think this that's going to be it. Yeah. Let's recalculate and check Corinne. Maybe she can wear that one I took off. No. Yes, she can. All right. And I think that will be it. All right. What are we getting for this? We only got 48,000 to. And that takes it all. Okay, well, I'm willing to bite the bullet on 10 grand right now. We still are vastly. Why didn't I kill those cows? I thought I did that already. <clears throat> all right, well, let's take that money. Go back in and kill the cows. And I believe it's, we just, I think we got too much grain. And the city is hurting for food. So once the day turns over, I might sell them the food. What do we got here? Yeah, 52 more days on the workshop. And we're negative 71 in food because the, you know, they, they raided my villages. So I'm not getting any food in. And of course, while there's an enemy army sitting out front, you're not getting any food in. So let's wait a moment while we recuperate. See what these armies from the east do. Everybody's back up to speed. Let's see where these armies are. Peace with the Western Empire. 47 hours. All right, he's traveling to Hurtigia. They're both traveling to Hurtigia, which is right to the east of, uh, right there, right to the east. Of Legata. I say east because this is the orientation I keep my map at right here. It's pro it's a little rotated. I think it starts like this, but I always prefer to keep it rotated like this. So I call that east. Alright, now let's run over to Thursinian and see if we can do any damage here. Nope, they've already got him. Those mercenaries. I'll go over to Carfinian. I want to make sure I put my correct loadout back. And when I'm on the open field battles here, I do want my spear. Legendary long fine steel spear. And I want to change back to the correct banner. Or the one I was using before. Uh, here, the spear wall banner. That's definitely the one we want. 
increased damage against mounts. We'll take this gate. A village battle. All right. Chances are he's not going to come at us. We'll have to run him down. We'll see how this works. Everybody hold fire. Let's see what he's doing. Well, they're getting closer, but I don't know if they're just repositioning or they're actually coming towards us. Let's move over here. Get a little height. And we want to go right here and face in that direction. Archers right here, face in that direction. Horsemen, go right over there. I believe they... It looks like they're coming to us, but sometimes they'll just go to the, the city and stop. Okay, they've stopped right there. Yeah, a lot of times the the AI will go into the middle of the town, the village, and just stop, and you have to go to them. So it's good that we came over to the left because the high ground, we can get closer, and our archers will still have a good shot at them. Oh, there they, are they coming in now? Maybe they are. Shield wall. Move my horses back. They seem to have an affinity for horses. They'll run for the horses, and I don't want them to do that. Nope. See, they're staying put once I move the horses. Okay. That means we're going in. Get out of shield wall and go in. Archers, come over here. Won't you up here on this rise? Horses, go over there. All right, now shield wall and march down. March all the way in. Throw your axes. Bowman, you can now fire. See if we can deplete their archers. Horsemen, go ahead and go after that wing of horses. that one all right we're trying to one side it's pretty clear that their initial charge is broke all right move in spread apart and charge make sure all the horsemen That initial charge of horsemen was slowed and held. Now we can move in. I don't see any more. There's only two enemy horse that I see left. <laughs> he was swinging at someone else and I ran in on him. He hit me. All right, there's only no horses left. All right, everybody charge. Get them. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Well, we stopped them, and we also increased standing with the village honor, which is always a good thing. Better recruiting from that village, especially since it belongs to me. One in tactics and one in medicine. She got one in archery, and we got one upgrade, a soldier. Are we still at 100 morale with that 7.5? Mm, you can go. Ah, you're free. Yeah, 100 morale. Now, I don't need any troops, but if there's anything here that's higher tier than what I currently have, I will replace them. And there is not any that are worth replacing, so we'll just ignore that. Let's upgrade this guy. I can take all of the prisoners. Yeah, I know we're overburdened. That's fine. All right, my oldest kid is now two. All right, he's going to... 
We're going to give him vigor because he's going to be riding a horse and he needs to be able to swing his one-handed. And in this instance, we're going to give him more vigor. Vigor, vigor. Let's go back and ransom. We only got about 20 hours, I think. One hour left to make peace with the Western Empire. So there's no point in not doing it. Let's get some status, some standing with Tover. Again, I'm going to go the whole 150 because there's no downside. I'm not going to tick anyone else off. Takes us up to 17. Now, the ultimate goal is to have 90 or better with all lords and the all clan leaders. Because when it comes time to vote for a new king, I want them all to vote for me. Let's see if there's anything we can recruit that's not sturgeon. Nope. All right, so we'll ransom these guys with the exception of the militia archer. I want to keep militia. Go place the militia in the dungeon. Make sure that one, some others, yeah. See those uh, mercenaries place their prisoners in here. So that, that's just free money. Keep the trader. Get rid of all of these except for the peasant. All right, free money as I look at it. Beat smithing. All right, another twenty-five hundred. And what about trading? They have any money back yet? Nope. All right, we're just gonna hang tight. Let one day. We're not at war, currently. And my town garrison is full. Let me look at this. 54 days. Can I speed that up a little? Okay, 29 days. Can I do it one more time? Nope. All right, 29 days. We're so low on food. We got to have those villages recuperate. I'm going to sell some food to the town. It's not going to make much of a difference. But we're overburdened and I need to get rid I don't want to go in a negative though. All right. We'll take that 726. And then since we're not at war, do I have any trade goods to drop off? I do. I have 83 hides. I'm going to run to Omar. To the tannery and drop off those hides. That pottery shop is halted. Obviously, they're not getting any clay. And I couldn't afford to leave Rote right then and there. So let's just go straight to Omar. <clears throat> no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to take a risk. We're going to update locations of wonders and see if I can find he's in Carban Seth okay that's not too far away that's right up here run up there and see if we can find him this is going to help me twofold and you'll see what I mean by that when I if I can recruit him to work for us skill point in steward which is always welcome at this stage of the game. If there is, once if we can recruit this guy or he's not there, we'll see if there's any tournament in Carban Sith. But I want to get there as quickly as possible before he has a chance to move on. And there is no tournament there, but perhaps he will still be there. Yes. All right. Let's see what he's got to say. Peace to you, stranger. Though, if you come any closer, I may stick a knife in your belly. <laughs> one cannot be too careful these days. My name is Han, sir. Tell me about yourself. I'll tell you my story, but if you would judge me for what I do, you're welcome to do so. But I do not care to hear it. My clan was among the last of the Kuzates to live out on the open steppe, moving from place to place in the old way. It was not a large clan. You would not have heard of it. 
They became even smaller when our encampment was surprised by an imperial patrol and our flock slain and scattered. Those of us who survived were forced to refuge in a village. I probably meant to have the word seek in there. We're forced to seek refuge in a village under a larger clan whose name you may know, but I shall not mention it. They protected us, but they treated us with contempt. We were told to hew wood for them, to bring them water. We submitted. For the sake of our old, of our nursing mothers, we submitted. But it was hard for the young men to take. Perhaps I was prouder than most or quicker to anger. One day one of them insulted my lineage, and I insulted his. I was angry, but my words were ill-chosen. Our protectors said they would no longer protect us if I remained among them, so my clan banished me. Indeed, misfortune does not mean you must submit to humiliation. I agree. A man must eat. It's easy to find traitors on the step and take their horses, but a man, unless he wishes to live like a beast, must also have people to buy those wares and give him food and blankets. There are mer merchants here in the towns so who will buy horses without asking too many questions and sometimes have other work for me. All right. You could say perhaps that I'm between jobs right now, so if by any chance you're looking to hire, well, I'm open to discussion. I could use you, buddy. One other small thing. I've got to take some money from some fairly dangerous... I've had to take some money from some fairly dangerous people around here. I'll need 523 dinars to get that beast off my back. You reckon you can pay me that? Absolutely. Here you go. Very well. I'll get my gear and join you outside. All right. Now, let's go to trade and see what kind of equipment he's wearing. And perhaps we can give him this, this items that we held on to. Okay. He doesn't even have a helmet at all, so we'll give him this one it's best definitely this is better he's gonna be on a horse so he needs good foot protection and leg protection this is 32 and 16 I'm actually going to give him that And that, these mittens, I think that's probably the, all we have that will be better than what he's got, because we replaced everything. Now let's look at his weapons, and while I'm here, let's see if we can sell this stuff, okay? also want to sell some of this. No, I'll hold on to the grain to sell it to my time when I get back. They'll have regenerated some money. Now, what do you got for weapons? You've got this rusty iron saber. We don't want that. Let's give you the, a good shield. You're our Kuzate. So let's give you this shield. And let's see what we got here. To start with, we'll give this balanced, long, fine steel spear. And is there a throwing weapon here I can give you? Yes, these guys. Do I have any more? Legendary simple javelin, 63 damage, 60, 29, 58, and 55. What was this up here? I want to keep that for myself because you notice there are times when I've been, I've tried to put a second set of javelins on me and I don't have one. All right, this is 103 damage. I'm going to hold on to that myself and I'll give him that 63 damage right there. So he can throw some javelins before he engages. Let's also give him a banner. Well, I'm going to give him, he's going to be with me most of the time, except perhaps in situations where we find ourselves in extended peacetime. Problem is that, I'll, t I'll give him this one. Okay, and we'll sell this linen while we're here. And anything else that we can sell. I believe he's got an old Sumter horse. So it looks like he can, any of these horses he can ride. He's a Kuzate, so he probably wants a step horse. 
is 200 hit points. I don't want to give him a noble mount. What is the... It's uh, 16 charge damage and 67 maneuver. This is 28 charge. It's a noble mount, war mount. Probably want to hold on to the war mounts. Well, I've got 30 war mounts. No, 34 and charge. Okay. So let's give him 18 charge, 20 charge, 22 charge, 26 charge, 30 charge, 36 charge. I don't know that I want to give him the only royal destrier that I have, though. So instead, I'm going to give him the charger. That's, those are the horses that I chose for my unit, so I give him the charger and what kind. And since I don't have anybody else, I'm going to give him the 75. All right, so he's set to go with the exception of a one-handed weapon. And since he's not, he's just someone I hired, I don't have to give him an axe. I don't think I have an axe. Range is what I would be looking for for him on a horse to be able to lean out. All right, so this is 71 swing speed. I'm sorry, 90 swing speed and 71 cut. But that rusty iron saber he has has 100 swing speed, but only 40 cut. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just drop this in and then compare everything to that. 84 and 72, but 116. That is a possibility right there. This is only 107. At the range, when they're on horseback, I like them to have the range to be able to reach down and hit. Yeah, I'm going to give him this fine uh, fine steel pair of mirror and at 116. Does one more damage. It's slightly slower, but that range... Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, there you go, buddy. Try that. We'll see how that works out for you. All right, he's good to go. He's good to go right now. He's got everything he needs. And what I'm going to immediately do is recruit troops. And I'm going to make him a party. Make him his separate party. And he won't have enough troops for me to be able to recruit him into my party right now. So I'll give him everything I just recruited. He can hold 85, so they gotta have at least 40%. So let's get him up to a, let's get him up to 40 just to be safe. So I'm gonna just give him some of my troops now to get him up to 40. Alright, so he's got enough troops. I'm actually gonna fill him all the way up and I'll explain why in a moment. 89, back off a little. I do not want him recruiting uh, as we move around because he's going to recruit things that I don't want him to have. So let's immediately call him to my party. Let time run so he joins me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around and recruit for him the troops I want him to have. Now it's not going to matter in the long run. It's only going to matter in the short term. But I'll explain to you what I'm going to do in the next video. Ciao.